Hi guys, Martin here, True North Ministry. Welcome with me. I hope it's going well with your soul, spirit and body. And um, you know, I am a type of person that meditate um, a lot. <laughs> and uh, many times there is questions that um, I need to be answered. Maybe you are like me. And um, I just want to speak to you for a few minutes what I feel, um, you know, um, it's so many years actually on my heart um, to, to think about this and seek truth out. Now, um, if you have your Bible, you may turn to Matthew 5 verses 8. Matthew 5 verses 8, and it's a small verse, short verse. But um, I think it's so important. Now, I think that um, many people are in bondage because of um, theology and doctrines and the teachings um, that is maybe in error. And, um, and we need to come, you know, um, we need to be liberated and free. And I do not want to be missed. Um, I, I personally do not want to miss out on anything. Um, not in this life nor the life after the, uh, the, the door death. Um, for me the door is Jesus Christ and you receive everything in Him. And um, this is so important I think that we do not miss this. It says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now, I want you to uh, think a little bit on this. For me, uh, I know there is many words like righteousness. Uh, you know, when you are redeemed, when you um, are sanctified. It's all words that is closely connected to each other, but there is a difference in them. And um, we need to understand things, you know. And so, um, if God would say, Jesus would say 2,000 years ago to his disciples in Matthew 5, he would say, Blessed, it's to be envied, those people are the pure in heart. Now, we must not misunderstand this because this is important. Um, he, he does not speak of righteous people. Now we know that we become righteous when we accept the offering of the Lord Jesus Christ and Him being crucified in our place. So He did not say righteous. He speaks of blessed is the peacemaker, blessed is the merciful, blessed is, you know, all these uh, types. So pure in heart is a specific thing. Because um, although pure in heart uh, um, and you can be a peacemaker and, and righteous and um, you are sanctified, all these things can work together. It is still not the same word. I want you to focus on that and understand that. Now, does this mean that those who are not pure in heart will not see God? Now, in our theology, we have all, always two groups, you know, those who believe and those who is the unbeliever, those who are the Christians and those who are, you know, the sinners, those who are righteous and those who are unrighteous. So in our mind, we will always place the Bible in the two groups of righteous and unrighteous. But in the righteous group, the people that came out of the kingdom of darkness into his light, there must be a difference in that as well. Because we can see with Bible and scripture that people can grow in life, they can grow in purity, they can grow in the mind of Christ, they can grow in grace, they can grow in mercy. Yes, they can grow in every aspect of the kingdom of light and um, but that's another message and you know my teachings you know um, so the pure in heart I want us to focus for a moment on that 
that it's not necess necessary that it does not mean the people that are um, sinner or you know righteous all right the two groups there but pure in heart all right first of all heart we we need to understand that now i know if you come to the lord jesus christ and you are born again all right um, the spirit of god will come and dwell within you and your spirit will come alive because you will be connected with the spirit of god your spirit will be pure and i i think that there is no difference between our spirits but when um, Christian when you look to Christians you can see a def definitely a difference between their hearts their soul dimension our mind our intellect and our emotions are differently and some Christians struggle with their mind some struggle with their emotions and stuff but God is saying this is who you are your heart it's that important part of you it's who you are your soul all right and it says blessed are those who are pure in heart so you can get a christian or maybe a man that hang next to jesus on a cross and said lord think on me and he is safe and he's now in heaven all right but there must be a difference between him and the apostle paul who gave his life in in wholeness and in everything he he gave his life to the lord jesus christ in, in purpose and in um, strength and he went through a lot of stuff for the gospel of jesus christ now you can maybe think that i'm wrong now but pure in heart there is i feel it's a soulish thing the heart thing there and there's a difference in in people all right so some christians can have a pure motive because my soul is full of the word of god some has not pure motives they do not have a pure heart they do not eat the word of god like they should they do not grow up they are still carnal christians you know but pure in heart means you have given everything that you are to the lord and you say to the lord lord i want to be pure in your eyes i want to see you now if your soul is your heart and some christians are pure and some are not so pure in heart listen because he says blessed are the peacemakers not every christian are a peacemaker they shall be called children of god um blessed are the uh, the which are persecuted for righteousness sake for there is the kingdom of heaven so he goes on and blessed are the merciful for they obtain mercy blessed are those who hunger and thirst not all christians hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be full so it is speaking to christians now is this possible is it may be possible that some Christians can experience in this life and the afterlife because they are pure in heart a different um, thing than other Christians think on this because blessed you are to be envied when you are pure in heart because you will see God so if you are pure in heart the the thing can be there that when you meditate and you have a relationship with the lord jesus christ that god can do something special with you by taking you and let you see him all right now when you die we know that we do not preach about the life after death but we talk about eternal life everlasting life immortal life and we all receive it this side when you accept the lord jesus christ but when you die there will be and there can be two types of christians that side those who have a pure heart 
who walk with God, who are friends with God, who pleases God, who motives were right, and they will see God. Maybe you are saved because you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as a Lord and and then you die all right but you you have never placed yourself you are righteous in your spirit before God but you you did not work with God and for God and you were not filled with with the spirit of God and you were not a peacemaker and and stuff like that maybe those people will never see God maybe if this is a reward from our side how open we are for God and his spirit and his mind and his love and his word eating and drinking of it and then when God permits it you will see him but if you never open yourself you are not pure in heart maybe you know the lord jesus only by name and you are safe now you are in heaven maybe maybe you will miss out on to see god what awesome reward it will be to see god this side or that side this is just i want us to to think on things but maybe I miss it if you have scripture and and you feel you know I miss this you are welcome to share that but I rather believe this way and I'm drinking and eating and hunger and I'm longing to see his face than listen to preachers that will say um, through the Lord Jesus Christ death all are safe don't worry about your way of living you know um, we all are under the grace of God nothing can separate you from the love of God you know all those scriptures and then you miss out to see God I hope this has blessed you and um, let's focus on Jesus Christ be blessed in Jesus name Amen Hey guys, the Mill Veneman here from True North Ministries. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And also go follow our Instagram page. Link is in the description. Thank you. Blessings. Amen.